Hi guys, I've seen a few videos on YouTube using an IKEA timer to give a nice 360 degree panorama video shoot by fitting your camera on top of the timer, winding it up and as it unwinds obviously your camera is rotated. And I must admit they are quite nice looking timers, nice brushed metal finish, reasonably robust. This one's still in the plastic packaging, I haven't opened it yet. Cost me £5.75, so that's quite a lot more than I like to spend on things. But I thought I'd give it a try because I am rather keen on that sort of photography. At the same time, in the bargain store, I picked up this timer does 60 minutes and it will turn round at the same sort of rate as that one I would imagine. Not quite as robust but it cost me 99 pence. So what I think I'll do is modify both of them and try a little comparison, see if there's any significant difference. The camera I intend to use is actually this mobile phone. It's an HTC Tattoo, which I've got an app on it that runs time-lapse photography. In fact, I think it's called R Time Lapse or something like that which is nice and simple. So the complicated thing will be how to mount it on top of both of them. And I happen to have some cheap plastic um, clips which will fit on here. This is an old mobile phone I'm not particularly worried about um, scratching it up or anything like that. So I should be able to fit that on there somehow. And I ought to be able to fit it on there too. My usual way of fitting things is just to hot glue them in place. Although it might be a bit of a shame to hot glue straight onto there. If I look after it, I could even give it to my wife as a birthday present or something like that. The timer, that is, not, uh, not modified like that. So I might just tape it in place. That would be a nice, easy bodge, wouldn't it? I'm not looking high-tech here, I'm trying to make something very quick and very simple. And I think that might be the easiest thing, just wrap some tape around it and see if it works. I've got to say, I just love that for its rough, really low technology fix. So I think I might try that. I'll set the camera up to do a, a time lapse, uh, take a picture every second and then um, set it up so it spins round for an hour. And then I'll do exactly the same bodge, sorry, technical modification to this one and do the same thing again and see if there's any difference. Okay I've set it up so you'll get a view of my workroom, study, spare bedroom, whatever you like to call it. So I'll leave that for an hour. It's actually going to take one picture every 10 seconds. I said a second just now but that'll give us far too many pictures. So we'll leave it every 10 seconds. 
I'll come back in an hour and swap it over onto the IKEA version and see if we get any difference. Well, hopefully that worked. So I'll now tape this to that one and do exactly the same. There is a minor problem with this because I'm actually clipped onto the screen there. The buttons don't work at the moment. I have to gently move it off. so I can access the buttons. If I was going to make this a bit more permanent I'd put some sort of protection on there so I'm not touching the screen. There we go. Same highly technical modification. I've just taped it straight on top again. And just so I know which one I'm looking at I've put the chicken just there so it will be in camera as it goes round. So I'll come back in another hour. That's another hour gone, so we'll take it downstairs, download the pictures, and see what we've got. And the summary is, I don't see any difference between the two. So, if you're looking for something really cheap, the 99p chicken timer works just as well.